if they keep standing, you're gonna swivel right into a daily keeper. Because look, you can switch. So you stop close guard. Okay. How we set this up is I have the collar, I'm breaking his posture. I got this little sleeve here. Okay. Remember, don't squeeze. It doesn't do anything. If you need help, pull these out like you would on your son or daughter, and you know, and pull like a pull up. This right here will burn out your forearms. The key is this grip. No matter what he does, I should be able to control it. So my not. So if he wants to weave it inside, outside, I can control it also. That's what you want. But don't use the stump. It'll burn out your grip. So we're here. But I want to make him feel he's not like restricted with this hand here. So yeah. So it goes here. Way we're here. He stands up. Okay. Now watch. Okay. From here, instead of this, hook it underneath. Put yourself here and look. Weave it all the way through. Okay. Deep daily deep. I still have the sleeve control. Here, sit up, grab that sleeve, pull, and then pinch your knees and push right here. Up, and then jam this up here. And then pass right here. Okay. It's very, very effective. So just starting in here. So here, okay. So look, I got that angle. I need to keep this posture, okay? So to keep this posture broken, it will be kind of counter for me to push him away. I need to pull him in with this right leg with tension, okay? As he tries to posture up here, look here, look, I'm pulling up this hooks, and I'm like almost lifting just to create a block, and I'm pushing down with that right leg here, okay? As I go maybe to daily heba, and I go here, maybe I'll take this off, Push it here, extend this here, loop this through here, sit up, switch from phalangeal low grip for here to the collar. Here, pull them in, pull with the right, push with the left over, and I keep pushing here as my knee slides out, and I point my knee and pass. This is essentially a deep de la Hiva sweep. So if I'm here, for example, and I have deep de la Hiva, where I have de la Hiva, I push them over, sit up, one, two. And just here, I need to get this sleeve here. Pull and push. I can pull him so he doesn't just fall on the shoulder here. Push, and then I scoop my hip out like that and drive that knee, because I can also pass into side here. Depends, I prefer to go to the back. So we're here, and on my side. He starts walking maybe to his right. We're here, and look, hook here, posture's up. Time to get here, oftentimes they kind of turn away. Turn away to your left. And then you're here, and then you're able to go ahead and give you the S mounts. Back takes all kinds of stuff. I like that face away side. So to make it a little bit more simple, you want to get him to step forward with his right leg. So we're here, as I go here. Right about there, look, one, two. So one, two, pull, and switch the grip. Okay. Here, okay, look, one, Hold them just so they don't, I guess, don't fall on me. All right, let's try one, two, three. 
This is where, all of a sudden, magically, lapel guard starts.